most interesting one was in a village we went to where there was one of the few people you remember in the well you don't remember obviously but you know in the um uh salem witch trials that one of the witnesses refused one of the men refused to give any evidence and so he was crushed to death they had this um thing that if you wouldn't plead guilty or not guilty they would press you until you either said yeah i, I i'll talk or i don't talk and um the particular character in the salem witch trials and um, say can't remember his name off the top of my head um he suffered this fate and supposedly cursed everybody in salem who did it to him and lo and behold within 12 months three of the people who persecuted him had died so um that goes on but there was a similar one in england and this is what we were looking after and it was a, a person who again with hindsight we now know had clearly had a mental breakdown and right. lost his mind and um uh stabbed his wife um didn't kill her but injured her uh killed his children killed their nurse and then rode off into the night to kill another child but his horse stumbled and fell on him and so he was arrested and uh again uh, he was brought for trial and he knew that if he in those days he knew it, it, it was no good pleading not guilty because the evidence was such that he had done it and he also knew that if he pleaded guilty then his property would be confiscated and his wife and remaining child would lose their inheritance and become homeless so he opted not to plead at all so he was put under the same um torture right. large wooden doors and packed with weights and supposedly his last words were more weight more weight and then he died <laughs> yeah that's funny <laughs> and the story is that he cuz he's buried in this churchyard now presumably in a very very <laughs> wide flat grave I'm assuming um that he still <laughs> that's terrible <laughs> <laughs> I <know. laughs> maybe they rolled him up like a carpet I yeah, don't know. yeah no, no. <laughs> <laughs> who needs the carpet to that's dispose funny. of that body that's funny <laughs> um that he rides round uh on the eve of the, on the sort of the anniversary of his death um he rides around the churchyard on a horse shouting uh ligon ligon which is sort of yorkshire dialect for more weight put more weight on right. um and i say we went to see whether anything happened but again we didn't see anything however it's one of those where there is a story because um there's a school next to the church and there is a tale that in the uh, 19th century some schoolboys used to do a ritual and they on their way home from school they'd stand by the churchyard put all their school caps in a pile on the ground dance round it anti clockwise and sh uh, sing a little chant saying um also walter also walter come out and show yourself if we not we'll have you for collops which is sort of slices of ham um you know the, the anyway schoolboy bravado right and then after you've done that you blow through the keyhole of the church door and see what happens and the story is supposedly that one day the ghost did appear and all the kids the next day in school they'd lost their caps they'd run away their hair had turned white and I say that's a, a nice bit of legend that uh is still recited as being true that they they actually did invoke Sir Walter's ghost right awesome. as I say um my, my my ghost stories you know we did a lot of it but we never saw anything but um I think that's probably the way with a lot of ghost hunting that uh it's more by luck than 
judgment that you'll actually any, see anything where you go to a place that is reputed to be haunted. You are listening to our guest Charles Christian here on Radio Wasteland. You can find out more about Charles at urbanfantasist.com. And, uh, you know, stick around, come on back, because we have more Weird Tales with Charles Christian. Charles Christian. 